Iran being a country a very deep history and rich culture must also be a country which enjoys some very phenomenal antiques. Let's go join someone as he reports on one of my personal favorite topics, shopping, as he takes us to one of the most phenomenal flea markets in town. Let's go join him at Jome Bazaar. Taiwan may be quiet on Fridays for many, but there is so much that people can enjoy and find interesting. In downtown Taiwan, there is a famous street called Shahar Istanbul, whose hustle and bustle never ends, even on Fridays. A flea market is held on this street every Friday. This is Taiwan's Friday market. This is actually flea market of Taiwan, where you can find everything here. There are many things, like expected ones and sometimes unexpected ones, like antiquities. If you really want to enjoy your visit to Taiwan, you have to come over here to buy and sometimes to watch. There are old and new items here. And if you're lucky enough, you may just pick up some gem that will thrill you for a long time. Although you should not expect to find original ones here. But do be careful as you may also end up buying a lot of things that you do not need. It's a great market. When we first came to Iran, everybody said you have to go to Jome Bazaar. But I think it's getting better and better. And not so crowded today, so that's even more enjoyable for us. So, um, what have you bought so far? I mean, uh, could you find whatever you wanted? Um, not everything I wanted, but many things that I didn't think I wanted, I've found. Yeah, mm. and it's lucky my husband's not here today. <laughs> <laughs> Which country are you from? Australia. Cool. Have a nice stay here in your Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, Bye -bye. Press TV, huh? Yes. All right. Thank you. The best thing here for me, as usual, was the people, especially those who display their goods. You can tell a lot about people who sell or buy goods. Afur Delijin is a seller from Turkmen port, some 380 kilometers north of the capital city Tehran. He comes to Tehran every week to sell his goods in this market. Indian saris, Turkmen embroideries and shawls from anywhere are just part of what you can expect to see here. How did you see this flea market? I love it. Why? Because we can find some curious things here which we cannot buy in the shop. What did you buy, by the way? Oh, don't ask me. All right. <laughs> this is only a part from what uh, I bought. Oh, it's something, uh, you know, I'm raising the first children's circus of Iran. And um, I bought some equipment for my circus and something for Christmas to send to Germany for my friends and family. And um, everything I can find. I, I look for these things, I do not search, you know. That's great, that's great. If you have a good eye for antics, here you can find. One of the interesting things that you can find in this bazaar is something like these uh, wooden boxes here. These boxes actually belong to the Hajarid era, something around three centuries ago. It's really strange and sometimes interesting to feel or touch something which belongs to uh, centuries, years ago. Wow. Aside from being antique, these gramophones took me to the real past, when life was so simple. 
and music could really touch hearts. If you happen to visit this place, my friendly advice to you is to buy whatever you like that moment. If you wait until next time, you might not see anything like it again. But make sure you bargain very well. Before taking my camera crew to this bazaar, I had come here with a group of my friends to see the diversity and buzz that so many people who had been here keep talking about. Well, I must admit, after a couple of hours, there was still so much to see, if you could manage maneuvering the crowd. Soma Kujuri, reporting for Iran.